Legendary Wings on the NES is a traditional scrolling shooter in which you play as an unknown winged warrior fighting against an evil supercomputer. There are five stages that alternate between vertical and side-scrolling sections. Players can collect power-ups that give access to more powerful weaponry, the most powerful being the so-called Turtle Dove that transforms the player into a flaming gold falcon with devastating firepower. This being ported from the arcade, the game keeps track of the player's score, earned by blasting away enemy robots. My challenge today will be to complete the game while getting as high a score as I can, without deaths and with no point farming. Sit back and enjoy the run. Alright, Legendary Wings guys, let's do this. So right off the bat, this first level is, uh, this first level is, is critical, so I gotta make sure I do everything right, right at the start here, but we're gonna do it. And then right here we're gonna get our first power-up. Because, uh, I gotta make sure I get all the power- <coughs> excuse me. I gotta make sure I get all the power-ups on this level, they give you just enough. So, get that. So there's the next one. Before we get it, I gotta make sure I get all of these guys here. Good. Okay, so we got two of them so far. And into the danger zone. Every level has a... Every level has a danger zone. And it's dangerous, as you can see. So right at the start here. Alright, get those. So that part at the beginning is actually the toughest part because you're not powered up. But um, as I was saying, this level has it has just enough power ups to get all the way powered up. And once you get all the way powered up, you uh you become like this like fire phoenix kind of thing. And then it's like that's like a different game. Because uh, if you get hit, you uh, you power down. But if you're the if you're the fire thing, you uh, you can take two hits before you level down. And it's also just really strong. So again, mashing here. Those wasps will uh, they'll respawn instantly when you shoot them, as long as you're in their zone. And then these big boys will uh, they give a lot of points. I didn't mention this, but I'm going for score here. So, make sure we get all the enemies, okay. Bam. Da -da -da -da. All right. And then last we got these little worms. Bam, there we go. <clears throat> All right, and that's it. That's it for the danger zone. Please, just try to get as much as I can. And then this next part coming up, I gotta really focus on because I want to make sure I get as many heads as possible. Yeah, those heads are worth a lot of points, so I want to just try to get all of those. Just make sure I get all of these dudes. And then here, yep, this is the lucky zone. So now we go to the lucky zone. Every level has also has a lucky zone, and uh, they're usually hidden in those like turrets on the ground. <clears throat> And this is what it is, it's like a bunch of treasure. This is where most of your points are going to come from. So here we go, let's, let's stock up. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. 
So I did have a run of this earlier, but I wasn't quite satisfied with my score, so I'm going to try again, and this time I'm just going to go all out. <sighs> Gonna take all the risks. Go for all the points. Cause this game is actually um oh, get back there. Don't crush me, okay. Um it's actually pretty easy if you're just playing normally, because you wouldn't have to worry about destroying everything. But if you're playing for score, it can be a challenge, because you have to take a lot more risks to get points. Just had lunch, so yeah, I'm a little, a little gassy in the group. And that's it. All right, and then next we just beat the level. This, this wave kind of sucks because there's like there's two that come out at the um, like on the op like complete opposite sides of the screen and you can't get them. You have to let one of them go. You might be able to get them with the uh, like level four weapon, but I haven't really tried that. And plus, I don't want to downgrade just for that wave. <laughs> Now we have this boss, hopefully he doesn't get me the shit pattern. Nope. Okay. And that is it. The devil's waiting for us. We're gonna go after this devil. I think there's like five stages, and all the stages go pretty much the same way. So I'm actually gonna get that guy. And then I'm gonna... There we go. So yeah, that's... Sometimes they put enemies in the corner, and you have to... You have, like, you have to take a hit to take them out. Uh, oh, and in case you're wondering, destroying the blocks does not... does not give you points. that, take that guy out. Yeah, this is kind of clockwork, I mean, it's the first level. Not much going on. Alright, and that's that. So now, next we have uh, the boss, and all the bosses are the same in each stage, just a little bit harder versions. And this is actually the place where you can, uh, Lips. You can uh, you can point farm because he has eyes on him that shoot eyes at you. Eyes that shoot eyes, and uh, each eye you destroy gives you like 300 points. So I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna do the honorable thing and just fight the boss. Got him. You can teabag him too at the end if you want. Okay, so we should have around quarter, a quarter of a million points at this at this rate. So we're gonna see how much we have. They're, they're gonna show us in just a second. Uh, oh, this is not bad. Okay. But still got a lot of game to go. So, yep. 
nice relaxing wave there, but these guys you gotta mash them. There we go. Get him! Oh my god. We should still be alright though, because there should be a, uh, I already missed one. Reset. I'm joking. Anyway, going into the danger zone on this one. Alright, we got these. I never actually checked if these things actually give you points, but I just try to take most of them out. be a mashathon. <sighs> Gotta work out that arm. Okay, there should be more wasps coming up. Sometimes I do forget which enemy is coming, but yeah, I was, I was right. There's wasps. Okay. Make sure we get all these guys. I'm gonna take the risk. Right here. I'm gonna do this. Oh, well. I didn't destroy the guy, but I got down. <laughs> so, yeah, when you get hit, when you have your invincibility in the frames, you can actually go through the level geometry. It is risky because if you get stuck in the in the in the geometry and you get scrolled off the screen, it's like instant death. No matter how powered up you are. Okay. So, I'm not too worried about taking that hit though, because this level gives out uh, gives out power ups like candy. So it's not even like. So it's, it's not bad. Later on, it'll be riskier. Mm, yep. Get rid of these guys next. Easy points. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I miss what? I didn't shoot. 300 points down the drain. Alright. So yeah, this is the lucky zone again. Super lucky. So yeah, not a whole lot going on here. <laughs> yeah, collect all the gold. All the gold.
We're gonna get a lot of lives. levels have like the same boss and the same like ending. Okay, dragon. Bad pattern. I hate it when he gives me that pattern. There's two patterns that the dragon can do. That's the bad one. The first one was the, the good one. Done yet. Ooh, I'm stuck in the level. So here I actually am gonna get my feet there and downgrade my weapon. Just a sec. That's because if you mash right here, you can do this. Oh, escaped. Ah, I kind of messed that up. Usually I'm better at that, but I didn't get it this time. Okay. So again, same thing. Uh, like I said, you can point farm, but I'm gonna make an honest effort to beat him. I mean, you could just sit here and just shoot eyes all day and max out the score. <laughs> But I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna try to take some of the eyes out, though. No, I got one. Keep at the boss. And we got it. On to the next area. The next zone, stage, level, whatever you call it. Okay. okay I gotta up my game here. I feel like I missed a few points on that one. I think I didn't hit me, did he? It doesn't matter if he did. Because, uh, there's a spot up here, um, we're gonna get that, and then, you want to take as many of these guys out as you can also, because these guys are worth a lot of points. Generally, the stronger the enemy, the uh, more points. Not always, but usually that's the case. Or just the bigger, the bigger they are. Uh, 
Like those snakes, for example. Those snakes are worth a lot of points. When in doubt, you gotta prepare for the wasps. This is a long mash session, I remember. Ah, jeez. Try to get one extra point there. Let's see. Got it. <clears throat> I don't know if those guys are worth a lot of points either. They're probably just worth the regular 300. Most of the enemies are worth 300. <clears throat> You see that bullet that came out right after, uh, uh, right before the tornado? If that would have hit me, I would have missed the tornado. Because when you're, when you're invincible, the uh, tornado will go through you. Every lucky zone has at least two power-ups, so as long as you don't go below level three before the lucky zone, it should be it, it's fine. Oh, hell. 
Devil. Come on, Satan. What you got? Get him. <laughs> so this guy, uh, I can, like, I can get at least one of them there. I don't really want to be too risky here. Like, I, I could just try to take damage and get all of them, but I really don't really want to take that risk. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. Those guys aren't worth too many points anyway. Oh, yeah, well, see, there you go. I got hit. Oh, don't get stuck there. The next is lost. Oh, here we go. Okay. These robots are worth a lot of points, so you want to make sure you get as many as you can. So yeah, as soon as you kill one, another one will spawn, so you gotta hurry up and do it really quick. So yeah, here we go, same deal. Uh, just more eyes. And again, I'll, uh, I'll limit my eye farming. Big brain. All right, let's see what our score is. I hope it's over 800k. Yeah, buddy. Okay, well, this is where the game gets hard. So here we go. I gotta calibrate myself here. There's guys first off. to make up for that. Oh, some easy points gone. Yeah, if, I remember, if I remember right, this one doesn't really have any wasps. At least not that many. Have these guys. Oh, 
<sighs> All right, this is the one that's like half empty. There, there's no more enemies on the rest of this level. <laughs> I just left half of it empty. Tap them keys. Let's keep up that APM. third wave there. Okay, uh, I actually don't mind if I get downgraded on this next few parts. I get away. Because, uh, the, uh, the lucky zone on this level is kind of ridiculous. shooting, because those guys can just pop in. Okay, here's where the lucky zone is, guys. Check this out. Line yourself up with this. <laughs> just in the middle of darkness. You gotta line yourself up with that. There's like a part of that foreground pipe that's like, uh, there's like an inlet in it, and you have to line yourself up with it. This, and this is why I didn't mind getting downgraded, even though I didn't get downgraded, but you can see there's just a ton of um, power-ups like, like everywhere in this level. Like they just went completely overboard. There's another one. They give you way more than you need. Collecting treasure. That's it. Okay, I gotta think what's coming up. Okay, wait for me to shoot. Bullets are there. Ridiculous. Is that it or something else? No, that's it. Okay. So I do have like one more hit before I downgrade. But it's not too big a deal. Um, the next, the the, the, um, the boss stage in here has a lot of power-ups. Okay, good pattern, please. Really hyping this guy up. 
So you can say, yeah, there's, there's power-ups everywhere in here. Oh, look at there, he hit me. Fine. This is, and this is where they start getting uh, kind of ridiculous with the eyes. You're gonna see how many freaking eyes this guy has. Look at that. What is that, like eight eyes? Seven? Oh, actually, I did get hit. Crap. I think there might be a power up at the start of the next level, though. Don't uh, quote me on that, though. I got one of the eyes it's down. Oh my god, I got hit again. I don't want to keep getting hit. That's gotta be it, right? So this danger zone, if I remember right, is actually pretty easy. Like there's not, like there's not much to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
can, I can do my risky thing here if I want to. And like, sit to the bottom down there. Let's see, we'll, we'll see if it, it's worth it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I missed, I didn't get it. <laughs> I was trying to get hit by the guy. Oh. Well, I got those two. this part. Uh, I can play it risky here and like I could have got like one or two more turrets there but I didn't want to do it. That, that, uh, this lucky zone is actually the easiest one to miss because um, there's a lot of like there's a lot of guns there that can shoot you and make you uh, skip the uh, zone. So at this point, I don't want to lose my firepower. Because I'm going to need it for the first part of the, uh, the boss stage. Yeah, this is probably the least lucrative of the uh, bonus stages, lucky stages rather. Just because there's not much in here. There's only a few, there's only a little bit of gold. Nothing <laughs> happened in there. Alright, so what's coming up? Kind of forget at this point. Uh, oh, there's more of this, okay. Dodge that. Dodge that. I mean, I could, like, Take damage there. We try to get those guys. Oh, that's it. Okay. What you got, Mr. Orange? Bam, good. Get it going. This is the last stage. 
Okay. there if I needed it, which I don't. Kind of make it a maze a little bit, but it's not tough to get through. Okay, and that's it. We just have the final boss left, and then we're gonna see our final score. Assuming I beat the boss, who knows? Who knows what could happen? This guy has a lot of eyes. How close he gets, Jesus. What you got? I see you opening your eye down there. Ah, oh, too close. And the final boss, he can be kind of random, he can screw you over, but I'm fully powered up, so I don't think that's gonna happen. So he can spawn in random places. Yeah, like so. And he hit me. Oh, he hit me twice. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> well, he gave me bad luck, but I still got him. Anyway, let's see that final score. 1,204,700 and we have saved the human race from extinction. Well, how do you like that? Thank you for playing and thank you for watching. So anyway, that's Legendary Wings um, high score. Uh, like I said, I got to run earlier, but this one was a little bit better, I think. Um, so I remember I discovered this game back uh, back in middle school or high school, one of my classmates brought the uh, brought his Nintendo into the school because it was like a free day kind of thing, so we just kind of brought our own stuff. And he had like Legendary Wings, he had Marvel Madness, all those games. That, and that's kind of how I discovered this game. And it's, a, it's pretty fun, it's a pretty good game. Um, but it does loop and you could just keep keep playing and playing and maximize your score, but this was only, this was only going to be one loop. Uh, but anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time.